Hi guys. So today we're talking about making reasonable estimates of physical quantities included in the syllabus. So it is quite useful for us to make estimates of these quantities in a given number of situations. The estimates can be rough, but it is uh, important for them to be close to the actual one as possible. This is not the list is not exhaustive, but it is important for us to name uh, as many estimates as possible. So. The following estimates have been given. The first one is the height of a human adult. So a question might ask you to just estimate the height of a human adult. For example, I should be able to give us the height of a human adult uh, to being around 1 to 2 meters. So if you say 1.5 meters, you get a mark. 1.7 meters, you get a mark. So the trick to answering estimates is to give an answer that is within the acceptable range that is required uh, in the question. A question might ask you to estimate the thickness of a sheet of paper. So a trick that you can use is to measure the thickness of the sheet of paper that you're using in examinations that could be made, let's say 10 sheets of papers if you measure that length you get a very very few centimeters and if you divide by 10 you should be able to at least get the actual uh, at least a correct thickness but the, the easiest thing that you can do is to just know that the range of the thickness of a paper is between 0.05 and 0.15 and what you can do is you can just say the thickness of a paper is it let's say 0.1 millimeters and you'll be able to get a mark another question that may come is the mass of a human adult for example is between 50 to 100 kilograms so you can just say an average human adult has a mass of 80 kilograms and you'll be able to get a mark you can say as an average uh, mass of 50 kilograms and you'll be able to get a mark but it is uh, if you if you give very very rough estimates for example you can say 200 kilograms uh, you'll not be able to get any marks uh other questions that may come are uh, the the masses of everyday objects that we use everyday object that we often encounter for example an apple an apple is a mass of around 50 to 500 kilograms so if you say an apple is a mass of 300 grams you'll be able to get a mark a mass of 200 you'll be able to get a mark other question that may come is for example the mass of a pen a pen that you're using in the examination yes it can be asked uh, its mass which is something around 5 to 20 grams so if you just say 10 grams you'll be able to get a mark they might ask you even the masses of common uh, mathematical uh, instruments which can which can be a protractor or 30 centimeter ruler, 30 centimeter ruler having a mass of around uh, eight uh, of around 10 to 100 grams. They may even be asked. Uh, may even ask you to give the common masses of a scientific calculator which has a mass of around 80 to 100 or a cell phone which is almost uh, the same mass as a, an approximation mass as a scientific calculator. Other questions that may ask you to give, uh, for example, masses of a car, of a lorry. Uh, for example, a car is a mass of a thousand to three thousand kilograms. Uh, they might also ask you the diameter of an atom as well as the wavelength of UV light. Uh, the diameter of an atom is it's, it's very important for you to just know these diameters as they are. They're often very, very, uh, very difficult. But once you memorize them, you'll be easily uh, you can easily apply them in any question. Other questions may ask you the wavelength of UV light, the wavelength of uh, red, red light, blue light. So you'll be able to truly give these estimates once you've done topics like waves. So uh, when you've done such topic, you can easily make this kind of estimates. They might also ask uh, the mass of the earth, the mass of the sun, the distance between the earth and sun. And such questions are highly answerable when you've completed future topics like gravitation. They might also ask uh, the power of a light bulb, which is something around 60 watts. They might also ask uh, the speed of sound uh, in air, in water, in metals, uh, as well as a variety of objects. But those main three ones have a speed of around, a light sound has a speed of around 330 uh, in the air. So if you give a speed that is around uh, 300 to around 500, you'll be able to get a correct mark. So the main one is if you just say 330, you'll be able to get a mark. Or in water, if you just say something around 1,500, you'll be able to get a mark. And in metals, if you say something around 4,000, you'll be able to get a mark. They might ask you the density of air, the density of water, oil, and mercury, which have uh, respective densities of 0 0.1 to 10, 1,800, and 13,600. They can also ask you uh, even questions like the diameter of a human hair, as well as its mass. So the uh, diameter of human hair is around 0 0.05 to 0 0.1 millimeters. Or the typical volume in the cubic center of a human head, uh, which is something around 1,800 to 2,500. Or they can even ask the speed of an athlete in a 100 meter race, 10 meters per second. Uh, they can even ask the volume in one cubic, uh, the volume in cubic centimeters of uh, a cricket ball, of a tennis ball. So such questions, you can easily estimate them. For example, if you've, if you've encountered such objects, uh, the, the cricket ball is spherical in shape. So you can find its volume by saying 4 over 3 pi r cubed.
So you can easily estimate the radius of, uh, of, a, t of a tennis ball. So it's a very, very small object. So it can have a very, very small radius. Let's say if you just say the radius around seven centimeters. And if you use that radius in, in, in a certain calculation, you get an answer that is within the actual range. So one of the ways of tackling estimates is to actually calculate the required estimates and should be able to get a mark. But remember, this usual, these are usually from around one to four marks, depending on your question. So, I would advise you to be exposed to a lot of questions and be very, very vigilant whenever you encounter certain daily objects and be able to go through a lot of uh, a lot of books that give such estimates and you should be able to tackle any question on estimates.